Oh, whoa, 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 it's cold today. It's about to get super cold, but gas station coming. I'm in town, as you can see, again, duh, because that's not, that's not woods back there. Um, we're about to have some freezing weather. So I came in town getting some heat lamp stuff. Uh, a lot of you guys know had a uh, baby goat, um, which is doing perfectly well. Uh, just wanted to say it's doing awesome. I got a lot of comments uh, on my video yesterday being like, you're a terrible owner. You should have put minerals out. You should have put a salt block out. You should have done this and should have done that. And all I can think is you should have shut the... <laughs> uh, let's be real. Um, I'll talk about it more on um, on the Crockers, my next video. I'll show all that. But the ghost doing perfectly fine. Um, some of you guys left some amazing comments. Some awesome comments that I truly, truly love to see. And it was, hey, sometimes just like a child, uh, the baby was in the womb kind of wrong, the leg's sore, give it a minute, it'll be fun. And uh, it's exactly what it was. And then another thing was uh, the mama, people were like, the mom's rejecting it, the mama. And I'm like, guys, you saw like three seconds of a video, like calm down and uh, <laughs> the mom literally, I have video of it, it will come out in the next video. The mom was literally like pushing the goat in towards her other nipple. Um, so I was like, all right, something's wrong uh, because the mom didn't like it when it was messing with one side. So I've milked goats before, so I got into there. Never a goat that small, holy cow. Tiny titties, we'll say that, tiny titties. And uh, smallest titties. I've ever milked, and uh, it wasn't really milking good. And then I finally got it out, and I think it was just kind of clogged or not, um, just not worked in or something, I guess. Maybe sore, who knows. Um, I personally think it had too much milk. Um, there's a lot of people saying, it hasn't even gone into milk yet. And I'm like, that's that milk sack down there is, looks like it's about to pop. Um, before the whole milk set was like the size of my hand and now it's like this it's like stretched so I think potentially it had too much milk and I kind of squeezed the teat a little bit to squeeze the teat and it uh had milk come out and it was fine and the goat's been nursing and everything the goat the mom's been absolutely amazing. Last night, I uh, had the goat in here in, in the Jeep with me, and I had the heat going real good. And then I went and put it back out with the mom, and I waited about two hours because I wanted to see, because all the goats are in that little shelter, and they all sleep really jam-packed together, which is what you want because they stay warm that way. And uh, the baby goat was right in the middle, and so then I got it and brought it back in here and kind of did my thing to see what the mom would do. The mom kept crying for it, so I went and took it back. Um, and then uh, it was kind of rainy, drizzly, nasty last night. Well, this morning, all the goats are out, and I was like, oh, man, this is going to be bad. But the mom goat was still over there with the baby, which was awesome. Um, the, the mom is really, really good. I think this is our first time ever having a baby. So it totally makes sense that uh, there are some things she's trying to learn. Um, it's just like you guys when you had your first kid. Uh, you didn't know what you were doing. You had to read mommy and daddy books and uh, ask your parents. Well, this goat didn't have that, so the goat's figuring out its own. But I think a lot of you guys need to realize that Mother Nature is amazing. And you guys don't give Mother Nature and animals enough credit um, y'all, I don't know, some of y'all are, um, I'm trying not to say the R word, um, some of y'all don't get it, I guess, that just because they're farm animals and all this stuff doesn't mean that they have to be cuddled and coddled and stuff, like, their, their natural 
freaking creatures that goats didn't, they weren't created on a farm. They were out and we captured them and then we domesticated them. Uh, a lot of people are like, oh my gosh, the shelter's not good enough. You're not giving them enough this, you're not giving them enough that. And the baby's gonna die. I would be shocked if the baby makes it a day. You're gonna kill him. You're a terrible owner. And I'm like, geez, you guys are retarded. Uh, whoops, said the R word, but you guys are retarded. Um, <laughs> whoever commented that, not all you guys watching, but the other ones are retarded. Um, I know a lot of you guys don't like me using the word retarded, but they're retarded and, uh, they're fine. Um, everyone's like, you should take the goats to the Sawyers. They're better off there. Why? Why? What? What's any different? Um, the mom's a good mom. The goat's eating. The goat's doing fine. It's walking around. It's shaking its tail like it should. People are like, it's not shaking its tail. It's not wagging its tail. It's gonna die. And I'm like, geez, I bet y'all never even known goats before. <laughs> and then, uh, people were like, y'all need to hit, you need to hit up Weedem and Reap in this channel. And it's like, guys, just because we're all YouTube channels doesn't mean we talk on a daily basis. We're not friends like that. And, um, and then people were like, you need to hit up Hidden Heights. And I'm like, our numbers are blocked. We can't do this. Uh, <sighs> if it wasn't for coffee, I couldn't handle you people. <laughs> this is comedy hour reading y'all's comments. At the end of the day, guys, the comments like that, they don't bother me. They're actually really funny, and uh, I find humor in it. That's why I'm doing this video. I find it humorous that there are experts everywhere, but no one's ever done anything. Or they don't have their own videos out giving these expert tips and tricks and stuff. And uh, Matt put a video out of Jared building a uh, uh, door. And I'm sure people were going to go on there and be like, oh my gosh, you did that wrong. And Jared even commented, he's like, yeah, I know people that say, I got 40 years of experience. You're doing it wrong. Jared's like, I'm a freaking amateur. But at the end of the day, you know what? That door was built and it looks fine. And it's going to work for what it is. It's not a big deal. Um, at the end of the day, my goats are fine. Uh, I am not running a huge freaking goat operation and I don't need a huge barn and I don't need all this crazy stuff. I got six goats, now seven goats because the baby. And I've got a little thing of minerals for them. I got salt blocks. I got the feed. I got um, even dewormer feed. I've got stuff that you can put in the water, like all that stuff. But I don't put that out there because if I showed you, oh, well, I use this this type, you all be mad. And it's the same thing with, like, dog food. If you guys knew what type of dog food my dogs ate, you all be pissed. They eat whatever I buy is on sale, and that's what they eat, and they enjoy it. It's fine. Uh, you guys would be pissed if it's not the most expensive food, or you'd be pissed if it was old roy or or uh one day it's this brand the next day it's that brand they're like oh my gosh your dog's gonna get diarrhea i have diarrhea like every day what's the difference we all shit outside so actually i poop in a bucket i don't i don't poop outside but you guys are crazy you guys are insane and the funniest thing is I probably take better care of my animals than y'all did y'all's own kids. Um, I go and look through y'all's profiles. I go and look through y'all's stuff. You can't tell me that uh, I'm a bad animal owner. Come on, people. Just like old our president says. Come on, man. Come on, man. <laughs> Comedy hour, guys. I don't know. I just figured I'd do this video. It's funny. Um, at the end of the day, I really don't care what anyone says. I don't really care if anyone gets upset because I do things wrong. Um, it's the same thing when I go out and I see bad kids. I can't make you raise your kids any different, but it's still alive. So, hey, you're doing all right. And that's the way I see it. I think everyone does something different. I think everyone has different ways of doing things. Um, it's just like there's different religions there's different you know some people think 
gay marriage is bad. Some people are open to it. Some people think uh, interracial relationships are bad. Some people are open to it. Uh, some people think that uh, you should get an abortion. Some people think you shouldn't. Um, there's left and right in politics. There's Guys, there's a million ways that we could do things, and I think y'all forget that. And I think that at the end of the day, if you just survived that day and you made it to the next day, you're winning in life. That's it. Um, there's really not much else to it. Uh, I think a lot of you overthink things and worry too much about what uh, others are doing. I get that I open my life up to you guys on the internet, but at the same time, um, if you don't know by now, I'll probably still continue to do whatever I want. Uh, Jared will do whatever he wants. Matt will do whatever he wants. My parents will do whatever they want. Uh, the Sawyers will do whatever they want. Um, you know, it's it's just the way it is. So, guys, y'all should really think about the things that you comment. Because as much as y'all get mad at me for like, well, you shouldn't post this or you shouldn't do that. Us as content creators, we look at y'all's comments the same way. And, I don't know, I, I I made this a comedy hour because I wanted you guys to know that that's how we see it. Um, I know I'm going to lose some subscribers with this, but I just really don't care anymore. Um, I just don't care. Uh, if you guys can get on there and be rude, then um, get ready to get it back, I guess. I'm not saying I'm going to do this all the time, I'm just saying in general, if... Like someone, someone left a comment and said, make sure the goat's eaten. And I said, I know I've raised goats for all, I'm, I'm aware. And then some lady said, some random lady on there commented, you asked for advice and this is what you comment back. And then she got mad because she said I didn't put minerals out or salt blocks and this and that. And blah, blah, blah. I don't know. And... I was like, look, lady, it's common sense to make sure the goat eats. Um, <laughs> and then another guy said, uh, well, let me ask you this. Did you stand up whenever you were first born? And I was like, you dingbat? Goats are different. Um, babies take a while. Goats get up and start walking around. Um, and that's why I just like... It's just comedy hour. That's why I figured I'd do this video. I don't know. I had fun with it. Uh, my phone's about to die. But I got all the stuff uh, that I need. And I'm going to get back. And I'm going to try to get ready for this crazy week of like 10 degrees and lower. I think it's supposed to be um, single digits first time since like 1970 something. Or I don't know. Who knows. Um, it's supposed to be cold. So I'm going to get back. Take care of all that. But uh... Yeah, <laughs> let me know if you like this comedy hour, and um, I'll keep doing them. If not, feel free to let me know that you're unsubscribing and never watching again, because that's what you guys do. See ya!